A note on the incident. Uh, no. I'm sorry. An incident, not the incident. Um, a short story by Anton Chekhov. In fact, it's so short it can be listed as a flash story. There is such a thing as a shorter story than the short one. In which we have two children and their kittens for a while. Um, generally, I try and avoid including a spoiler alert. And with that, I try not to say what happens to the end. But here, I don't think there's any way out because um, talking about a story which is only 13, 14 minutes long in audio format um, I, and which doesn't have much happening within, there's no way but to say uh, everything and um, talk about the climax which is which is reached soon but uh, as I said within the 15 minutes they have um, a cat a gray cat and she has uh, three small babies uh, but these these children being small in that time uh, do not know how to deal with, with kittens and animals in general I would presume, uh, in the sense that uh, they, first of all, try to think who the father is, and they identify a wooden horse, <laughs> so that's funny already, and um, then they want to feed these kittens, so they're kind, nice children. Um, I know that I used to see in my ch childhood so many who were so mean to animals. I still do once in a while, and that's that's. I hate that. Uh, and there is an incident which happened um, about 15 years ago, and it stuck in my mind. A uh, car ran over a, a cat. That happened in the mountains at the regional near, near Brasov and the cat was, was uh, she jumped in the air and she was uh, very badly hit very badly hit I mean she she, she did not make it um, but she had con convulsions and she was she was in a, in a horrifying state it was horrible horrible I, maybe in a way not maybe. Surely I'm lucky because this is one of the most terrifying things I've seen. I mean, I, I didn't see dead people. I've seen my parents and then a few relatives, a man lying on a, on a, on a highway somewhere. Presumably dead. I mean, I, we were driving by. But, but other than that, of course, each has a share of, of, of bad things happening and psychological and there was the revolution I've been through but still they were shooting around I didn't like walk on that feet. so back in that original I was even more horrified I mean to add insult to injury cherry on top when I saw that some uh, uh, beasts or how should I call them were laughing because the cat jumped in that way and she had this, these convulsions, I said, and, and they thought that funny. And they were laughing. Uh, uh, loud and... And I said, well, look, if so many people are just a waste of space. Like those individuals there. Now, returning to these uh, small kittens, uh, the children are nice, they try to feed them, only they, <laughs> they don't realize that these are so small uh, yet that they don't, uh, uh, they can't be fed with cheese, uh, anything, actually, other than um, uh, their mother's milk. And 
they have plans for the kittens. They, they say one will stay here with the mother to have a company. Uh, another one will go in, into the country. And um, the last one, the third, will just chase mice in the cellar or something. Father disagrees with the kittens. He says, let's throw them in the rapids, in the water. I don't want them. The children are, are horrified. And uh, they say, no, no, no. He, they convince the father only to have the dog, what was his name, Nero, come and eat them. So this ends up being a horrifying story. I said horrifying three times.